we have seen that it's really not easy to consistently estimate causal effects with real-world field data. The scientific gold standard to estimate causal effects is to run yourself a randomized experiment. And we want to look at an example um, experimental data set. It's called Apple and it's in the package Woolwich. And there are 660 households were asked how much of regular apples and apples with eco label they want to buy. Let's take a look at the R code. So we load the library and when we, we can also load the data set with the command data apple. If it's part of the library, I click on it. So we see it's 660 observations. So these are the households. We have some background data like the years of education for each household. We also um, made these um, experiments for each household at some different date. And here these are the main explanatory variables. So how much, what is the price that was offered for a regular apple? or for one uh, pound of regular apple, and what was the offered price for um, these ecological uh, apples. And those prices were randomly chosen independent of the household characteristics, like the years of education or the household size. And kind of, uh, there are two uh, outcome variable, variables, so how much of the regular apples did the household say that they want to buy, and how much pounds of the eco apples they wanted to buy. Yeah, since we randomly pick different prices for different households for the ap apples, we generated with this experiment our own source of exogenous variation. So that's typically what randomized experiment always do. They, they randomize some treatment and thereby generate a source of exogenous variation. Moreover, since the prices that were offered to the households were independently chosen of the household characteristics, we can rule out that there are unobserved confounders because none of the household characteristics are systematically correlated with the prices that the households were offered. So that's the beauty and the power of a randomized experiment. We rule out confounders if we really perfectly randomize and we also have a source of exogenous variation. Here are the results of three regression specifications which we have run. So our dependent variable shall be the amount of ecological apples or the pounds um, of ecological apples the household bought. And the first regression we only regresses on the price of the ecological apples. In the second regression we add also the price of the regular apples. So a household could always buy from these two sort of apples. And in the third regression we add some additional household characteristics like um, the household size and whether the um, offer was made in during the apple season or, or not, um, whether the family income and so on. And you shall now first uh, discuss some quiz questions regarding um, these um, regressions and you can look up detailed solutions here also on the slide. So here basically I repeat these four quiz questions in a shorter version uh, now in this multiple choice quizzes, but look at the slides for detail, uh, detailed descriptions and detailed solutions. Okay.